saying that, all right? <laughs> Which now brings up the topic of balance. Now, I'm not sure where I heard or learned this, but you can't let other people's idea of balance rule your way of living or running your business. The term I use instead of balance is my winning pace. I have tremendous energy and super high drive to take care of people in my business. That's why I'll take consults on evenings, weekends, or holidays. It really doesn't bury me with work anyway because most other people's winning or losing pace <laughs> all right, don't include those times. So I take care of those that do, and the others just fall into a regular nine to five schedule. Also, do you think super high achievers are balanced? Really, think about it. Do you think people that win Olympic gold are balanced? You couldn't possibly win in any of the sports in the Olympics by being balanced. They practice their sports seven days a week for years. And when they aren't practicing, they're weight training. And when they aren't weight training, they're visualizing their performance. Is that balanced? Well, loser kind of people would say no. Enlightened people would say that's that person's winning pace. And they probably would be inspired by them and increase their own winning pace when they see these Olympic athletes, how hard they work. Another mental aspect of successful mind games that's emerged recently is called a morning routine. In other words, you get up at the same time. You do the same things every day that help you towards your life and business goals. Now, I've asked many podcast guests what a typical day looks like for them. And many of them, now not all, because I really had a successful guy recently just say, I get up anytime I want, all right? What's funny is that he really didn't think he had a morning routine, but other than the actual time he got up, he did the same thing every day to get his day started. So, so there is room for variation.